So I was discussing this problem in the elementary school math Olympiad program at Chinta. Um, these are kids mostly in grade three and four. We wanted to introduce algorithmic thinking to solve math problems. This is very different from plugging in a method or formula that kids usually learn. In this video, I want to share with you this experience. Maybe as a parent or a teacher, you can use these tools for your children. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Check the links in the description for more interesting resources. First, let me tell you that the goal of creative mathematics for young kids is how to help them fall in love with mathematics. Over the last 12 years, we found that if you challenge the mind of the children with non-routine problems, their minds will also respond with happiness and excitement. And this does not happen immediately, but it happens over a course of time. In fact, this challenge is exactly what I started the class with. You know, it's incredible that there is no formula to directly calculate 2022nd prime number. For example, if I ask you, what is the 30th square number? You can immediately say it is 900, right? You can just square 30, get 900. There is a direct formula for this. A similar formula does not exist for prime numbers. So if I ask you, what is the 30th prime number? You cannot do this. So I noticed that kids of grades three and four quickly understood what are prime numbers. We had, we had to run through some examples and some non examples. They were also intrigued by the fact that there is no formula for prime numbers. Then I asked, can you find the first four prime numbers? The children took some time, but most of them found it within first few minutes. Then I asked them, what about first eight prime numbers? Well, they took considerably more time this time. Now there is a step-by-step -step method that extracts the prime numbers. It is known as sieve of Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes was a fascinating Greek polymath who lived about 200 years before Christ. You may check out more information about him in the internet. He discovered this beautiful technique of finding prime numbers. Now suppose you want to find the prime numbers from 1 to 1000. We will extract the primes in a step-by-step -step manner using what we call cancel circle experiment. So first, list out all the numbers, 1 to 1000, you can write it, write it down in a notebook. As a step 0, cancel off 1 as it is not a prime number. Then comes step 1. Circle out the first number that is not cancelled. First number that is not cancelled, of course, this number is 2. As step 2, cancel off all the numbers, cancel off all the numbers that are multiples of the last circled number. So basically cancel off all the multiples of 2 because the last circled number was 2. Finally, we come to the last step which is step 3. Step 3 is go back to step 1 and repeat. And if you do this enough number of times, you get all the primes. Now, there are some beautiful features of this particular discussion. Students did the cancel circle experiment with the numbers from 1 to 100 and successfully extracted the prime numbers. These are students from grade 3, 4 and so on. And they are just learning prime definition of prime numbers. Some of them at least did. Some of them knew, not, knew that from before. Uh, this extraction took them about 10 to 15 minutes. One of them 
observe that you could you do not really need to check from the number 11 while performing this experiment that is she found the remaining numbers to be either prime or to be circled or cancelled or something like that so if you check up to 11 then you are done with all the prime numbers you are you have successfully extracted the prime numbers from 1 to 100 it is quite remarkable that she experimentally observed this it is a fact from number theory that to check if a number n is a prime one has to try dividing by primes less than square root of that number so if you want to check if 100 is a prime you have to check up to 10 square root of 100 10 so all the prime numbers up to 10 you check them check try dividing 100 by them and if none of them divide 100 then of course 100 will be a prime number well we do not teach this in the elementary school math olympiad program but nevertheless the kid who experimentally found this pattern has taught herself this particular truth this is a wonderful part of creative and experimental mathematical training children start observing things the step-by-step -step process also has a lot of beautiful untold features uh, it secretly introduces the notion of a variable when it says last circled number or last cancelled number it also introduces the notion of looped processes when we say go back to step one and repeat these methods of thinking starts building their roots in the imagination of the children it creates the foundational mindset needed by a true problem solver Chinta Math Olympiad programs are built with a lot of love over more than a decade's work since 2010 if you are interested in creative mathematics let us know about your ideas in the comment section and thank you very much for joining in today. I'll see you next time.